Good evening. We've already channeled um, Baby Jane Doe of St. Louis. Okay. This is going to be part two. First of all, I have not been feeling good for a day or two. Um, I've got some kind of under weather thing going. But the show continues. It must go on helping these spirits and these victims. Okay. There are some new things that I did get in meditation earlier. And I also do believe that her spirit was with me while I was sleeping. Um, okay. So the new information that I did receive, and I told you there would be a part two, okay? Uh, again, trigger warning, this whole case is very eerie, okay? There's a very eerie vibe about it. It's a very eerie, eerie time, an eerie place she was found, and a very eerie uh, killer, okay? All right. So the information I did receive was, again, I really feel like this is someone she knew. I really, really do, or had seen before. I do not feel like this was a total stranger. Absolutely not. I do, again, feel like this was someone who was in her home before or lived in her home. I also do not feel that she is from St. Louis or her family is from St. Louis. Um, thank you. I feel that she uh, did come from a Southern background and that she lived in a Southern place. So we're probably talking about maybe North Carolina, Louisiana, um, those Southern places they kind of picked up. Okay. I feel like she may have been visiting or moved to St. Louis, um, uh, briefly. Okay. Um, this is something I don't feel she was there for a long period of time, which is why probably they cannot find her records. They don't, uh, know too much about, you know, her schooling, um, I feel this was kind of a fresh transition from another place, if you will, okay? Which also makes the case hard because really nobody knows her. Nobody knows her family. Um, in school, they don't have a lot of records and her being there for years and being transferred. You know what I mean? So it makes the case a lot more difficult. Um I also don't feel like the person that did this, I wouldn't say is like a serial killer. I just think this was a crime of opportunity, all right? And a person's uh, lust and emotions and uh, what you would say compulsions went out of control, all right? I do feel like this is definitely a person who does hunt children. So we are talking about... Um, a predator and a definite pedophile okay and I do feel like he has done that before I do feel like he's hurt a child before um, this is kind of what some people know about him to be kind of creepy and doing things like this okay um, I do again feel like this was a crime of opportunity okay so basically he knows um, her mother or grandmother, whoever she may have been uh, living with in St. Louis at the time. Uh, I also feel like this is not um, that she didn't know a lot of people there. Okay. So it's kind of like moving to a new place, if you will, and you don't have family or a lot of family there, which is another reason why I feel like um, family wasn't coming forward. Like, hey, what's going on? Where is she? Uh, what's happening? You know what I mean? I don't feel they really had a clue of what was really going on, y'all, which is why, um, Again, it looks like nobody cared for her, but I just really feel like they just did not know, okay? Um, also, I definitely feel this is a black girl, okay? A black little girl. The really strange thing that I'm kind of in a crossroads about is the fact that um, I do feel that she was kept over a period of time, and the reason I feel this way 
is um, studying the case, okay? Her stomach was empty. So I feel like this person held her for a while, was not feeding her, okay? Um, and this is why her stomach contents were empty, okay? Because I don't believe when she was living in her home that she wasn't being fed and stuff like that. I don't believe that at all. And the reason I don't believe that is because um, she was very tall for her age. She was not like malnourished or undernourished or looking like that or anything like that. So I just feel like this person kept her uh, captive for a couple days, okay? And when he got bored with her, all right, um, and pretty much got what he wanted out of, you know, the deal, it was time to get rid of evidence, all right? Now you say, okay, what's going on? Why was the head missing? What's that about? Um, I did get that her head was put into a bucket. All right. We talked about um, this pier, this place with the boats. And yes, it's very significant. And a couple readers have picked this up and it's very accurate because I got the same information. Um, the weird thing about this story is I don't feel there's just one person involved, uh, one person that is connected to the case. OK, I do believe the person who um, did this, all right, is very, very much connected and very much involved. But what I was getting was there was an actual um, buyer, okay, of this little girl or her head was definitely kept as a souvenir, all right? It had nothing to do with hiding evidence, which, yes, um, the dental records would have definitely proven who she was or kind of steered us in that direction. Um, but this is not why this was done because I don't feel this person had that kind of knowledge. I just feel that this again was a crime of opportunity, a crime to get paid, um, kind of do what you wanted to do and then still get money out the deal. All right. On top of everything. So these are just a bunch of sickos out here, y'all. Um, doing some weird things, all right, and requesting weird things. Now, all right, we're on the right track. The crazy thing again, too, is that they found a Caucasian pubic hair on her, okay? So what that's telling me is that there definitely was <clears throat> a Caucasian in the mix, all right? Um, but what I do feel is that a black male... Uh, I want to say is the main suspect in this. I did get like he had maybe a fro or like a small fro at the time. It's not like a really big, you know, uh, fro, if you will. It's just at that time, you know, a lot of men wore like the low fros and everything. Um, this is 1983, so it's kind of the thing. But I don't feel it was a fro that really stood out, if you will. Okay, because that would have just been like a sore thumb. But um, I do believe that there is a black male involved in this, as well as a Caucasian male. One of the males are prominent. I feel they do have money or own a business or something. Um and they know way more about getting away with kind of stuff like this, y'all. All right. Um, I feel like this is someone that her overseer knew, like whoever was taking care of her, whether it be her mother, grandmother, whoever. I feel definitely uh, knew this person and saw this person before. He was very active. Okay. In their lives, I feel like maybe he either visited the home a lot or he stayed at the home, okay? Because another thing I feel is um, Angel, we gave her a name in this case, was definitely being groomed and she was Lord, okay? Kept getting she was walking the wrong way somewhere. So, you know, um, again, this was just a crime of opportunity. But again, I feel like this person knew 
her and was lusting after her. Okay, this is a person who was spying on her, a person she felt very uncomfortable around, a person who was definitely grooming her, prepping her um, for her demise, which was definitely the essay situation. Okay, um, also, uh, where she was found was not where this uh, incident took place at all. Uh, this was a dumping ground, and I feel like this person definitely feel like she would never be found. Um, again, uh, they're alone in this new place, okay? So they don't know a lot of people, and um, I feel like that's why uh, a lot of people didn't come forward with, okay, she's missing, what's going on with her, da-da-da, because again, I feel like they freshly moved to this place from a southern place, Okay. Um, what else here? I feel like, um, because she looked older for her age and, um, you know, was, uh, well, she looked older. All right. So this person definitely was looking at her in that kind of way, if you know what I'm saying. Um, I'm trying to make sure I don't forget anything. I also feel like she had some kind of mental uh, delay or uh, physical problem. Uh, it could be um, some kind of disability is what I'm getting, either mentally or physically or maybe both, which um, definitely worked against her, okay? This person was definitely a predator. And again, this was definitely a crime of opportunity. This girl didn't stand a chance, y'all. Okay? <clears throat> because of her disability. And um, this person I know took advantage of that. I, I just can't stand people like this. I promise I cannot. Predator is not the word. Just pure demonic. All right? I want to see if we can pick up anything else with the cards here. Um, I just, I don't know what to say. I, I definitely know there's an essay situation because she was found with like nothing on but the sweater. And, um. This is just sick. The um, sweater, I feel, definitely has his DNA. She also had um, dry semen on her. Again, this is 1983, so it's rough. But I'm going to tell y'all what I think. I really think this is a kind of... Um, Kind of a cover up as well because there was semen, there's pubic hairs, there's definite evidence on her body, y'all. There's ways to tell if she was beaten, she was beaten for sure. Um, she was beaten for sure. There is definitely hate in this crime. I feel like it's a hate crime in some way. And I also got that um, it's some form of revenge. It is some form of revenge of him being exposed. All right. So maybe she said something, told something, or said she would say something or tell something. Um... And again, that's what psychopaths and narcissists do when they're exposed. They are upset and they want revenge. All right. So let's see what we can find here. Um, why was she dumped in that building? Because I've always wondered what the building, what significance that has to do with anything. Well, it's a place definitely that is 
I feel hard to access. I know they say a lot of people just walk in there. Um, it's kind of like a maze or something. Uh, only certain people know how to get around in there and know what's what. Very dark place. It's a it's a pl dark place where dark things happen. So we're talking like drug use, prostitution, um, a lot of homeless people, believe it or not, sleep in there, which is just eerie and freezing in there, which I can't imagine. Um, it's damp. It's disgusting. I just hear low lives hang out around there or inside of there. Um, and definitely murders have happened in there or bodies have been dumped in there. So I feel like it's a known place um, what people would consider trash, if you will. Um, very low vibrational. Oh my God. Yeah, there's been dead bodies in there before. Lots of crime, lots of sketchy stuff going on in there, y'all. Um, it's known for that, actually. So I feel that the killer knew. He knows the area. He definitely has lived there for some time or been used to this place. So unlike her okay he knows this place he knows how to get around all right traitor someone again i feel like she knew she trusted Again, you. I want you to keep something in mind during this whole reading. For one, I'm very congested. For two, um, this is someone that she knew, y'all. Oh my gosh, yes. Um, I don't know why I do feel like they're of the same race. Or what this Caucasian has to do with anything. Because mind you, Caucasians can have froze too, y'all, now. All right. I see that knife too, but I don't feel it was a knife exactly that was used. Some very sharp instrument. We're talking about like a small axe or something. Um... here it just took a couple wax there is his DNA on that sweater though hairs um, fibers again he kept her captive there has to be like fibers or something um, hairs I'm not sure if they talked to this person before like a suspect all right but someone is definitely telling lies about this case and lying on this case. Where I'm going with this is there's a reason, y'all. It's something weird why I feel like this is being covered up. Someone prominent is involved with this. Yeah, someone I feel was playing daddy or... was acting like a father figure to her. And again, we keep getting this card where he lured her off, okay? All right. Saying yes. She was being groomed. I feel like she's giving presents, money, candy. Told not to say things. Lots of conspiracy theories. Definitely was hurt. I feel again she was beaten, lightly tortured, starved. 
um, locked up somewhere, bound. By this jerk right here. That's our, again, for people who don't know the channel, our Narcissist, Psychopath, Sociopath card, okay? Look at this face, though, in this particular reading. She's a target. He had his eyes set on her. He's very angry with her. I get you revealed me. And I told you not to tell. Yeah, he feels betrayed, exposed. He didn't get something out of what he wanted, so he took what he wanted. Mm. Very interesting. Taking her life was like a sacrifice. It's very sacrificial. It is a revenge thing. It's a get back thing. It makes it even. It makes it better for him than to have to see himself the way he really is, which is definitely a predator and a sicko. So does he go after families, y'all, that I feel are freshly new to a place, don't really know anybody. Yes, he's an opportunist. That's what I get. Um, he preys on people. He preys on the weak. He preys on people in situations. Uh, this is how he lives, how he gets by. Okay. I didn't get what I wanted, so I'll just take it the way I want to take it. Wow. Pretty sick. <sighs> One upping, as you know, politics and narcissism. That is a silver lining. She was in fear. I feel like he kept her in the dark somewhere, y'all. And he was upset about this light being exposed on him. He had been grooming her, touching her, saying inappropriate things. Okay. Because he's into children and he's sick. Praise on women and children, like single mothers, um, single families. Um, all right. I know this happened. I know it for a fact. People are still praying for her, though. I feel like that's why they found her in the building in the first place. He never thought they would have found her. Hmm. She definitely was in communication with him. And that's the truth. She had talked to him before. They have had interaction before. This is not a stranger. Which is why she probably felt comfortable going off with them. Strong possibility that he has killed before. Or the person requesting things has. Um, someone is definitely a killer of children, y'all. And I feel this card is depicting that he killed her. One upping. I know he has hurt children before, but again, I feel this particular crime was a crime of opportunity. Let's see. investigation requesting a certain type um i feel then just black kids were a commodity y'all um high on the list 
that these sickos will request certain things, right? You're running out of time. I um, had a short amount of time to do this. Going into... I don't know why that's on the letter three. I feel like maybe he kept her for three days. It's definitely a couple days, I feel. Yeah, I feel like he locked her in a, a space and then left. So it's like a room. Locked her in a room somewhere. Police were involved. Transitioning. Okay. So this person wanted to get to her before she reached puberty. Yes, he felt like I'm taking her womanhood. This is the stuff he's on, all right? Sicko. And he had been watching her Dark forces made him do this. Oh my gosh. Why am I picking up the vibrations and sensations of um, his lust, his need, his desire to be filled? It's almost like a drug addict. They got to get that drug, y'all. They got to get that fix. You know what I mean? So this is definitely a predator, a pedophile out there y'all that is feeding okay that's why we're getting the word hunter like he's a hunter um for this particular thing he needs it all right and these are the ones i definitely don't feel like can be reformed i don't i don't their compulsions are way too strong Way. He could not, y'all, and he would not control it. Mm -mm. I know I keep rubbing my head. Here we go into the head trauma. I feel like she was hit in the head. <clears throat> not just decapitated, but was beaten and hit in the head. Okay. In my throat, one stack funny strangulation, a form of uh, controlling her, scaring her, scare tactics. This person was very brutal, very scary, yelling at her, beating her, taunting her. He wanted to put, oh Lord, I don't Put the fear of God in her, okay? This is just crazy. Why? He's angry. This this is like, I'm feeling the, the rage as well as the compulsion, as well as the lust. There is hate for this little girl. I get you tried to ruin my life. <clears throat> One up. Yeah, we're going into that. Narcissism once again. Her story. Very strange, strange case. This person took uh, her head way off somewhere, y'all. If you can see, it looks like down this long road going towards maybe a body of water. I hope I don't sneeze. Hold on, y'all. I've been, I told you I was under the weather, but I told her I'd still do it. Going towards a body of water, like a pier. Okay, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. 
She knows what I'm talking about. And she wants her bond justice. What is this? The sword, the sharp object. But I'm thinking it's a small axe is what we got like twice. We had that word. Um, I also feel maybe she was blindfolded. You can see this. Okay. Um, bound, blindfolded. Maybe something over her mouth. We are learning about this. There possibly could be uh, tapes of some sort. Definitely um, what you would call um, souvenirs or um, something he can go back to and satisfy, okay? These urges and also his revenge. Wow. He wanted war with her. What in the world? Because it's like a form of rejection, y'all. Um, that she did not want his advances. She did not like the things he was saying and doing to her. Okay. And he did this again for growth. It made him feel good that he did this, that he indulged in his, uh, what do you want to say? Fantasies, his desires. So he waited till she was alone, pretended to be a friend, lured her off. He is a predator, y'all. Coming from two different worlds. We have black, we have the Caucasian involved. <sighs> okay. I feel like he's been in trouble before, maybe in the system. Um, probably from hurting uh, women or children, definitely people weaker than him, okay? And also I feel like he kept her in prison somewhere. He feels like he got a victory. Again, I get this other person involved as well, <laughs> like a helper. Um, hidden secrets. Okay. Uh, trigger warning. This also is showing. Oh, gosh. Oh, no, 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 no. That. Um, the head was given as some kind of offering or gift. I feel this is very sacrificial. I feel like this person does drugs or either drugged her. This was done. Of course, everything kind of boils down to this. Y'all know it. It's all about money. This person, I, one of these people I feel involved have money. That's why I feel like they're protecting too. I hate cover-ups. I hate the system. I hate all of it. Um, one of these people involved were definitely prominent. I mean, we're talking about the guy has a boat, y'all, all right? Um, but I don't believe the person who set all this up and did all this is on that level, all right? Corruption. Someone was paid off to do this. 
Absolutely. She was trapped again. I feel like she was bound in some type of way. And she was definitely essayed, y'all. Um, I get for a couple days. Um, wow. There's plenty of DNA on her body, and it's um gonna come from more than one male, I feel. And um I just I get her crying now. I really hate that part. Um Yeah, she was definitely crying out for someone, whoever was the overseer of her, the caretaker. Oh my gosh, okay. Now that that is taking the heart straight out my chest, y'all. Covering up for this prominent weirdo. I figured that that um well has her head all right let's go and see what these cards say about um i'm really praying this person is um deceased y'all oh my gosh just disgusting person. Okay, maybe he is. Is he deceased? It's been 40 years. All right. Now, I've gotten this before. Something about a school. Was she lured off a playground, y'all? Somewhere where children play? A park, schoolyard, somewhere close to a school? All right. Um, argument between the two yeah i feel like they have fought before she was not liking what was going on yeah i feel like there's more than one person connected this is why i feel like this is a big cover-up and this has been acting like this happened why it can't be solved that happened that's why it can't be solved oh as they say the pubic hair has nothing to do with anything um yeah, all this bull crap, right? Because of the fact I do feel like it's a connection. Like there's people connected to this. Prominent people. All right? Only reason I told y'all no case is unsolvable. There's just cover-ups. All right? If these detectives and police officers really wanted to solve something y'all they will solve it you hear me yeah saying he's not guilty but he is i'll tell you that alcohol i believe he definitely drinks and i feel like he was spying on her I feel like she was taken near a school or a schoolyard. She was going the wrong way, y'all, somewhere. Again, you have to keep in mind, I really do feel like this girl has some kind of disability or mental disability, all right? First of all, she shouldn't have been out by herself, number one. Um, two, uh, this person she was around was just absolutely evil. There's a lot of evidence um, that was destroyed. Even with what had been um, taken from the scenes and stuff, 
there's more evidence that has been taken there saying that was destroyed. Oh my gosh. Um, she is deceased. Yeah, he's definitely guilty, even though he's saying he's not. This was the crime of opportunity, a crime to get paid, a crime of rage and hate. Oh, wow. Yeah, I feel like this all stemmed from the home, her home life. It's around her home somehow. And again, we have money involved. Someone who was a family member, like, or playing like a family member, like maybe uh, we got all these, you know, men in the home acting like their daddy and all that, you know. Um, I feel like she was drugged or drugs were involved. Oh, my God. See, I keep getting this public building. Okay, this could be talking about where she was dumped. Okay, the scene's changing. It's getting a little deep here. Um, this public, absolutely this crime did not happen in that building. That just makes no sense. <clears throat> she was taken off somewhere quiet, I get. A very quiet location. This was done to her. Investigation. Who are these prominent people you are covering up for, huh? That's what we want to know. Yeah, she was beaten. She was kidnapped. There's some things being covered up. Y'all, I'm going to tell you that right now. She was taken away in a vehicle. Oh my God. Um, could have been kept in a basement somewhere. And this is definitely talking about the basement of that apartment building where she was found. The crime did not happen where she was found. Be for real. Um, again, she was taken somewhere else. So they're on the phone, they're in communication. This is a deal, some type of contract. Um, collaboration with people maybe in a ring or uh, something of that nature. Dumped in a random area. There's definitely physical evidence. I hear all over the body, there's bruises, there's scrapes, there's cuts, there's uh, semen, there's blood, there's hairs, um, fibers, signs that this person has some military knowledge, the way that he tied her up. Um, I hear making like knot slings or something. Um, what else? Um, I think this person may have wore some gloves. They did give her a proper burial eventually. This is true. They want justice. We want justice. Okay. Water. Significance with the boats and the pier. Yeah, someone he knew that he was in association with, let's see, um, some type of ring of sickos is what I get. Did they all just hang out together? What in the world? It's like a terrorist. Y'all just going around snatching children. Finding opportunities to collect children, hurt children. I mean, now, now she's a ghost. She's 
she was definitely dumped and there is planted evidence as well um fbi involved i feel like she was knocked unconscious at some point she was stored in that place but also i feel like her head is stored somewhere um see what we get with our little cards again The sweater has a lot of evidence on it. Some about her thighs, too. Her thighs have a lot of evidence. It even will tell you what type of environment she was in for those couple of days. Um, running out of time. Family. Night job. This was a job. All right, cracks will appear, hiding, they hit her. Look, it looks like that old abandoned uh, building. Uh, alcohol involved in a local community. That building was around a local community, y'all. A medical record should show basically what happened to her. This was in the city. Lots of deleted evidence. We're talking about a cover up, y'all, because there's money involved. Um bigger picture bigger picture involved here money's involved so anytime that's involved you already know we don't know what happened we didn't see that we don't know nothing basically public get on somewhere <laughs> okay that's what we've been told for 40 years so we're getting to the bottom of it tonight though this is definitely someone she knew Someone who knew her home. Someone who uh, was messing with her. Okay? Let me get these cards out. I feel like he was... Um, this particular guy I don't feel like was Caucasian. No, I feel like he was... Yeah, I don't feel he was. Not with a... Well, I mean... He could have had a little fro, but I just really feel like he was African-American like her, okay? That's the only way I feel like he would have been in the home, trusted in the home, trusted all around her like that, you know, in the 80s, the early 80s. Um, that's kind of how it went, y'all, in these uh, neighborhoods. Let's see here. I know it. I know it. Okay, let's see what else we can find out here. See, again, victim or victim's family was familiar with the killer. I've been saying that. Look at it lighting up like Christmas. All right. I've been saying that. Yeah, he engaged in unusual behavior, cutting off somebody's head. That's crazy. Contamination of DNA evidence may influence this case. It's contaminated. It's been thrown all around. Uh, people misusing other evidence, hiding evidence, throwing evidence away, uh, covering up evidence. Drugs may be an important factor in the case. Okay. We've said that. I told you you kept a souvenir. I think y'all know basically what it was. We get this axe, y'all. Remember that axe? And then a uh, killer will murder again. Yeah, this is what he does. This is who he is. He's an opportunist. He makes money doing this, too. But he also likes to hunt children. This is something he likes to do. He has an urge or lust for it. Preferably black children, black little girls, girls of minority. And important details are not being revealed to the public at this time. They have hidden so much from us for 40 years. Okay. There's other things they're not telling us. And that's why we're sitting here like what in the world's going on. Lies, deception, a potential cover-up. 
and I am through. All right. It is a potential cover up. We have said that a million times because nothing makes sense. And if it don't make sense, it don't make dollars, y'all. Therefore, the things they're telling us is not true. And they're hiding other things as well. So we're left in the dark. Right? And it's unfair because there is people out here who care about this little girl. And it's really not that no one ever cared about her. It's when you move to a new place and you don't have family there, or you hardly know anybody. Who's going to say they knew you? I mean, really, think about it. And this person knew that it was a great, great opportunity. Almost too good to be true. When you move somewhere, make sure that you get your name out there. Or people kind of check on you or you let people know what in the world's going on because you just never know, y'all. All right? I knew there was more to it. Like, wow, nobody cares about her. Again, it's just that nobody really knew them all like that. Okay? They were new to the area. She comes from somewhere else, somewhere southern. A southern place. There's a southern accent, a southern way of living. Okay. Um, and this person picked up on that right away. Like, they're not from here. You know? Um, and people take advantage of travelers, y'all. I tell y'all that all the time. All the time. They take a, advantage of drifters, travelers, um, people taking vacations. They know you don't know where you at. Okay? So you have to be really careful. You know, you sitting around talking about, oh, I'm going to move to California. That sounds fun. You get there, and everybody knows you don't know nobody, or you don't know where you're going, or you don't where not, know where nothing's at. They're going to take advantage of stuff like that, y'all. That's what they do. Just be careful, all right? Um, also, if you have family, let them know what's going on with you, check in with them, have them check in with you, um, see how you're getting along in a new place, you know, let them know who you around, who you ain't around, um, let people know what in the world's going on. And then some people don't have anybody. Some people just don't have anybody. All right. Um, but I don't feel like she just totally wasn't cared for. I just feel like they moved to a new place, all right? And they didn't know nobody like that. They didn't know where nothing was at. They didn't know the area. But I feel like this person definitely did. And he took advantage of that. It was a crime of opportunity once again, all right? And this is his character. He's an opportunist. He takes advantage of people, all right? Especially women and children. So, I hope this shed a little bit more light. Um, I think the investigators know pretty much a lot more than what they're telling us, y'all. And it's a shame that they're covering up a lot of things because this is connected to a prominent or prominent people um, that basically own boats. All right? Um, so yeah, I don't, I don't know when we may get definite answers, but if not, she definitely is in a safe place. Um, yes, I know sweetheart and where she can never be hurt again. And she definitely has the name there and she has the name on crime TV and we've named her angel. All right. So, I thank you, Angel, for coming forth, sharing your story tonight. Y'all know what to do. Like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching Crime TV with us. We thank you so much for coming forward. And we are still praying for you and wishing for the best for uh, revealing who you were. Okay? Thank you so much. All right. Good night. And good night to all the viewers.